Today we are going to make paneer butter masala or creamy cottage cheese in tomato gravy. The ingredients, tomato pureed, 7 to 8, paneer or cottage cheese, fresh cream that has been whisked, some oil, ginger paste, garlic paste, chopped hara dhaniya or cilantro, salt, garam masala, red chili powder, coriander powder and some dry methi or fenugreek leaves. The first thing is to strain the tomato puree so that the skins of the tomatoes are removed and you get just the plain tomato puree without the skins. Here's the strained tomato puree. Heat one tablespoon of oil in a karai on medium flame or medium heat. When the oil is hot, add the ginger paste and the garlic paste and roast lightly till it is a light brown color. Now add the rest of the masalas, the salt, the garam masala, the red chili powder, the dhania powder or coriander powder and the dry methi leaves or the dry fenugreek leaves and stir, mix and roast them till they are done. All the spices and the garlic ginger paste are roasted now. So add the tomato puree and stir. Stir and mix well. Keep stirring occasionally till the first boil when you will be adding the fresh cream. Keep stirring regularly so that it does not burn or stick to the bottom of the. You can see the gravy mixture has almost come to a first boil. Stir a bit more. And now add the whisked fresh cream. Once you add the cream, mix it well and then uh, reduce the gas to low. Now cook this gravy for about 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. After this has been cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes, you can add the paneer. By this time, the gravy will be somewhat thicker and cooked as well.
add the cottage cheese or the paneer now and cook for about four to five minutes by the time the gravy will thicken it's thin now so in another five minutes or so the gravy would have cooked as well as thickened Just before the dish is done, the gravy has taken, add the chopped cilantro or the hara dhania. Stir it for a while so that the flavors mix in for about a minute or two. Let it mix and then shut off the gas and transfer it. To a serving bowl. You can see the gravy has thickened. Your dish is ready. The paneer butter masala is ready. So put off the gas and transfer it to a serving bowl. That's the paneer butter masala or the cottage cheese in creamy tomato gravy. Garnish with chopped cilantro or hara dhania. Hope you like the video. Do make it. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. Please send your feedback. We are waiting. Thank you.